My name is Jai Hindley. I'm 26 years old and I'm a professional cyclist for Team Bora Hansgrohe. The Giro is like a really special race. I really enjoy the, the country. My name is Armando Leonardi. I am the Managing Director of Specialized Italy. The Giro d'Italia is the most important uh, stage race that we have. You know, it's a really tough Grand Tour and uh, yeah, it's an awesome atmosphere. The best thing about the race is really the fans, you know, everyone is super passionate. For sure, the Giro d'Italia represents uh, the number one uh, race for us. I've just been riding for the team since the start of 2022. I'm a climber in the team and GC rider. Of course, when we win a race, uh, this is just the result of something that starts way, way before. My name is Rolf Aldak. I'm head sport director of Team Bora Hansgrohe. The interesting thing was the vision of the team aiming to become a GC team. The team signed a lot of new riders, a lot of young riders. It's a lot of question marks, of course, you know, you have a new strategy philosophy, uh, but how do you fulfill that? The training uh, camp, as well as the retool fitting with the riders, uh, as well as all the tests that we do with the riders. And then you see the engagement from, from everyone, from the mechanics, from the physios, from the doctors, from the riders. We test the bikes, we test the frames, we test the geometry of the bicycles, we test the wheels, we test the shoes and the helmets. All the preparation run into the Giro went pretty well. That was like the main target of the season. All the other races were sort of just in preparation for that and uh, building up towards that one big goal. Well, of course, we had a lot of expectations because we knew that uh, the Bora team was coming to the Giro very well prepared. We had a pretty ambitious goal. We were full in for the GC. We didn't have a sprinter there. We just had GC riders and support riders. And yeah, the goal was to get a guy on the podium in Verona. The biggest doubt was the beginning of the Giro. I was a bit nervous to see how I was gonna go. Jai didn't start the Liege, Bastogne Liege, because he was literally sick. That wasn't really like ideal a week and a half before the start of the Giro. Milko had a massive crash. He couldn't really even bend his leg for days and Emo had to move his altitude camp because of sickness in Pebas. So for us, the biggest threat and like, like chewing our nails was like get through the first uh, half of the Giro. The first week, especially on the hardest stages, I was struggling. Mentally, it was also really tough. The first half of the Giro was a very, very difficult one. And that was like the moment when we could have been attacked and we could have been under, under big pressure. Yeah, it was also nice to get a win in the first half of the race. I really have to thank the guys for that because they did everything they could for me and they were really incredible. Three guys were out the front and then Jai really took it on and won that stage. At the beginning we did not expect uh, such a result, uh, but we were very much confident. There were some situations under pressure, under threat. They handled it really, really nice and then turned it around. Yeah, I think after this Torino stage, the whole team's confidence was massive and, you know, we really showed we weren't there to like play around after that stage. Everybody was caught by surprise how the team rode and how aggressive the team rode. Right in the front and stay there as a team, not really attacking things, going out there very offensive. You have always a little bit of doubts, is it the right thing to do? Everything like that also comes with a big risk. And then, you know, the guys executed it to nearly perfection. It was riding very aggressive, was surprising other teams. That was the turning point then to say, okay, now we also recognize, now we're in that game for the podium. Last week mentally was pretty exhausting, you know, when you're really fighting for the GC every day. 
The performance of Dry was very interesting because, you know, he was not being seen as a, as a favourite going into the tour. The three guys that were on the podium were all quite even, so it was every day like a real battle in the final there. So mentally it was really tough. And then it was like growing into that whole thing. You know, let's take it day by day. Let's not lose time. Let's, you know, look for our chances. And uh, so this growing into that role, I think, was very important. I was feeling better and better. Day by day, day by day, we started to get even more confident. We knew, you know, the stage 20 would be very decisive. Wasn't thinking super straight at that time, you know, because it was just like an all-out effort and it had been super hard before I attacked. We had the feeling that Carapaz faded a little bit while Jai was very, very stable. I could hear that Carapaz was dropping it and I could also see it when I looked back and that was just like massive motivation to just do an all-out effort. <laughs> Yeah, that was a really crazy day, actually. It's a pretty beautiful feeling, actually, to put on the Mali Rosa. It's really like an iconic jersey in cycling, and just to put the jersey on is a massive thing in itself. The pink tarmac, yeah, that was also pretty sweet. Yeah, I was just overwhelmed with emotions, you know. Maybe it didn't look like it, but oh, yeah, there was a lot going on, you know, like the stress of the race and yeah, to come away with, with the win and also Bora Hansgrohe's first Grand Tour GC win is pretty cool. The racing for us uh, is super important. The history of Specialized is full of uh, trophies and success. Being an Italian, winning the Giro d'Italia is super important. When all the guys came onto the podium and we all started celebrating on the podium, I was like really cool. It's really like a team effort to get me there and yeah, it was just really like a cool team performance for three weeks. The team did grow together, that the team really, you know, approached it as one and ultimately I think that success is not a personal one but a team one. Pretty epic day and uh, yeah, one I'll never forget. <laughs>